Okay. Naomi Re Reber is the first person to ask a question tonight. Congratulations on your freedom. Question, what information did you find that made you connect Inky to Enoch? Okay, well, first of all, the Inky story is millennia older than the Enoch story. Enoch does not appear in the, in the historical record until the 4th century B.C. Nothing older than the 4th century B.C. pre-Alexandrian texts have ever been found that mention Enoch. Enoch is purely a rabbinical uh, rendition. Now, you have, to under, you have to understand, when the Jews were taken into captivity in Babylon, they came across the vast libraries and archives of the Near East. Babylon and Nineveh had these huge libraries, and the Jews were fascinated. And they read these huge histories, and they learned about this 930-year civilization of the Adamu. And they created Adam, the first man, who lived 930 years. Not exactly what they read, but that's how they interpreted it. Then they read about the building of this vast monument, the Axis Mundi, the pillar of the world, the great tree of life, where all the knowledge of good and evil was stored. They read about this great place called Akuzan. They read all about the building of the Great Pyramid, but that's not, what they, that's not the description that they provided. They provided the description of the building of Eden and the serpent and God making man. And they totally contorted the facts. And they went through all these deals, and they read about Enki, and they read hundreds of tablets all about Enki, and how Enki arrived and brought civilization and mathematics, and how he was an architect, and how he brought all these things to a Neolithic society. The story of the Anunnaki, Naomi, you have to understand, the story of the Anunnaki is the story of Caucasian bearded people having their having a very technologically advanced infrastructure still intact after a major cataclysm suddenly appearing among people who had lost everything and they regarded them as gods yes two or three hundred years had passed to where these neolithic people were so primitive that the sudden appearance of caucasians with beards among a beardless society was enough for them to believe that they were deities, but they weren't. They weren't. The oldest Sumerian records don't have all the all that all the extraordinary, fantastic material that the Babylonian, Akkadian, and Elamite and Hittite records have. Those were all exaggerations. The longer period, the longer a period is stretched in human tradition, the greater the details become, and that's what happened. The original Anunnaki were nothing but Caucasians with a fully intact infrastructure. They didn't come from the stars and from the heavens because the original tradition said they came from Mount Arden. They came out of a mountain, just like Cheyenne Mountain, just like many of the deep earth biospheres that we have set up all around the world to protect the elite from the next cataclysm. Well, that's exactly what happened. If you have not yet gone through the entire Anuna files, you probably didn't know that already, but it's not just in the Anuna files. I mention this and show evidence for this also in the Phoenix resets, because the elite know all about Phoenix. They, I don't know if they know the timing, if it's lost to them, but I believe they do. They At least they, they do know about 2046. I don't know if they know about 2040, even though the 33rd degree of Freemasonry is the, the, the Phoenix. That is the symbol for the Phoenix. They have not officially published anything to the public about what the 33rd degree is about, other than the fact that its symbol is the Phoenix. Now, 2046, I know that the secret societies know what's going to happen in 2046. And the reason I know this is because Every 108 years, a very holy number in the ancient East, every 108 years, the Rosicrucians either become public or they go underground. And the next 108 year cycle ends in 2046. And Rosicrucian order, anybody can Google the Rosicrucian histories and you will find out every 108 years, going back from the year 2046, the Rosicrucians reveal themselves, go public, do a massive campaign explaining who they are, um, a secret society bent on teaching people about the future man, the, the order of the Rosy Cross, and then for 108 years they are absolutely silent. They are not doing any proselytizing. They're not doing any 
uh, uh, public anything. It's almost as if they just vanish, disappear. But 108 years before that, they're, they're all in the public doing all kinds of things. And this isn't me. This isn't my discovery. This has nothing to do with anything that I've invented. This is something that I published in Chronicon because I found it in the old books. And I, and I cite the source materials.